Welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 19.4. Basically what we're looking, we're back at the gun range and what we're testing today is the shotgun auto turret. Now there's three different types of shotgun ammo and what the first thing we're going to do is take a look and see which of these ammos actually fit into the shotgun turret. Okay, clearly the breaching shell does not fit and the AP slug ammo does not fit. So what we have here is literally one out of the three shotgun ammo types that actually work in the shotgun turret which is unfortunate because I think these actually give better, better uh, um, range damage. So your shotgun shell basically does 11 damage per pellet per pellet so theoretically it should do 110 damage it doesn't actually give okay it gives an effective range of five blocks your slug your ap slug ammo has a range damage of 96 but it only has one pellet so the theoretical damage is actually lower than the shotgun ammo it has a minus 20 on target armor a penetration of 2 and for our purposes an effective range of 9 the breaching ammo also has a 96 damage one pellet it has a block damage of 80 where the AP had a block damage of 80 as well so there's no real difference over there and it has an effective range of 2 so basically your most your, your uh, uh, longest range shotgun ammo is actually the shotgun AP ammo but now the question is is at what range does this turret actually start firing so we're going to switch it on bring the zombie in and see at what range the shotgun actually fires at so the shotgun picked him up at 15 meters this means the shotgun actually has a longer range than JT because JT was actually only picking up up to 14 blocks and on the very edge of 15 the beep beep was literally a step before I actually froze the AI so effectively we're getting 15 meters range and if it's nine damage per slug he actually got hit by two slugs at 15 meters so we've determined the turret's range let's determine its effectiveness i'm going to now place a zombie at the 15 meter uh, okay we now have five rounds of ammo loaded into the breach and we're going to lock it up and we have, a to uh, we have a zombie standing at 15 meters. So let's open the door. He's targeting, tar targeting him at 15 meters, but he's literally getting no hits. So out of the 50 pellets or the potential 550 damage in the five shotgun shells that this robotic turret could have done, he's done actually absolutely zero damage. <coughs> we now have a zombie target at the 14 meter mark. We're locking in five rounds of ammo. actually gone and hit himself behind the door so let's do that test again
now have a zombie standing at the 14 meter mark. We have five loads of rounds loaded into the And there we did 108 damage out of a potential 550 damage. Okay, we're now going to place a zombie at the 10 meter mark. now have a zombie at the 10 meter mark we have 550 potential damage in the in the shotgun and let's see what damage was actually done and we only did 90 damage so while the shotgun has a, a very high potential damage it does not seem to live up to that potential. Let's place a zombie at the 5 meter mark. Finally at the 5 meter mark we start actually seeing the shotgun killer zombie. So basically what we've got here is a very high powered weapon that's not very accurate. Bear in mind that the business zombie only has 150 hit points and the shotgun fired off 330 worth damage. I hope you enjoyed the video and found the information informative. If you did, please leave a like or comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.